I definitely start with doing a little bit of deep cleanse. I have apple cider vinegar, we'll have baking soda, and then we'll throw some lemons or limes in there and let it soak, okay? Again, impurities. There's different ways other people soak, but we're natural as much as possible. So we're letting that sit 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll take it out. The products that you're gonna need to use, you're gonna need some aloe, you also need coconut, and avocado, and a cucumber. Different ways you can crack it. Take off, I'm married, I promise. Take off my ring. So, there's different ways. You typically say they look at the eye, it should make a mouth. The two eyes and the mouth, you can crack out right in between. We'll see how it goes. There you go. And you can drain it out. There we go. You can drink this, perfectly fine. Nice creamy meat, looks great. And then the juice is right there for you. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the rest of them. Oh, that's not good. You can use a whole coconut or half of the coconut. Either one is fine. Okay. Still swimming. All right, there's different ways you can get out the meat or the white piece of the coconut. You can scrape it or you can take a knife and start cutting it. I'm just gonna go straight, it, scrape it. Pop it open. This one. This two. Oh, it's a good thing it's not a knife, right? It's a spoon. <laughs> Like I said, our products are so good that you can also eat them. Okay, we'll let this sit in the blender. I'm gonna add the coconut water um, and also the chunks of coconut inside the blender. I'm gonna cut it a little bit more so it'll be a little bit easier to blend. Oh wow, it's tough right now. Chefs, don't judge me. I'm probably not cutting the right way. <laughs> okay. I saw how Miss Lock Crush on um, Instagram, how she made hers, and I was like, ooh, I like that. Added my little twist to it and made it my own. Again, this is not a signature specialty that I can take ownership from it. It's plants and herbs and from the garden. So you can definitely do it yourself. I'm just teaching you how to do it. All right, so let's have this blend first and then we'll come back. Any blender is perfectly fine. Put it in. And the base is the coconut water. Let it sit there for a little bit. I might add some extra water. Which I will right now. 
this is rose water I'm adding. Okay, this is rose water to, to let it preserve longer, just freeze it. And then when the time is right, you can just unfreeze it. Let that go for another 60 seconds to two minutes. Start working on cutting my cucumber. the cucumber in. Alright, half the cucumber was added. We're getting ready for an avocado. Scooping it out. The other half I will eat. <laughs> and now for the aloe. So, we'll cut that off a little bit. Now for the aloe, you're cutting it and you're only gonna use the gel portion of it, okay? Mind you, this is very incredibly bitter, so if it gets on your hand, do not try to like lick your fingers because you will be upset. All I'm doing is cutting off the edges, the spine, Okay, there's different ways you can do it. I'm gonna cut right down the middle and then use a spoon to essentially gut it out. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna use this bowl once I rinse it out. Clean up section a little bit. We're gonna reuse these. And another one. The aloe is done. That's all we're gonna use from that. Now here comes the spoon. Let's rinse this off real quick. Alright, all I'm doing is scooping the gel and it's okay if you have coconut in your hand all of it's going to the same place as long as you don't just lick it with your fingers okay and this is how much I'm putting in one mixture and these mixtures they they won't have to depend on how many you make it does not have to last you months because it won't it's natural food it's gonna only last you maybe a week two weeks max and then if you need to put it in the freezer go ahead and put it in the freezer but why not just make it fresh so make enough that is fresh yes it is slimy it is gooey that's just how it is it's great for you all right let's put this in the blender
I'll smooth it out a little bit. Let's put it in the blender right now. Okay, it's gonna mix for a little bit. We're gonna strain it, and there's two types of strainings. I have one type of strainer, um, is a fine, thin line strainer, and then the next is with a cloth. Let's turn it back on. What I wanna do is use hot water. So all I'm doing is letting the water boil. Just, it's easier for the honey to dissolve. Okay. Go this back on for a couple more seconds. Just need to check the time. Here's the next thing that comes up is straining. Like I said, there's two types of straining that we're looking for. Let's get a bigger container. Okay. So when we strain, you have big chunks of coconut. Let's see if it's gonna go with this. Barely. So here, here's one way. You can, if you have the patience to wait, and let it stir and sit. You can do this, mush it down, it's gonna come in. That's perfectly fine, if you have the patience for it. Um, because, I still have patience, but because of demonstration purposes, I'm gonna speed up the process and show you the other way of doing it as well. And so that's one way. Okay, you can see the coconut flakes, that's pretty cool. The next way of doing it, is getting a cloth, okay, and you're gonna pour right into the middle of the cloth. In the beginning, it's gonna touch, that is okay. That's fine. And I'll show you how to uh, get it out from there. Okay, so I'm just pouring right in the middle. Then I'm gonna squeeze it out in a moment. Oh, that smells good, look at that. Soon we'll have the technology, not just seeing it, you can smell it. It just smells healthy. Okay, so you can already see it's leaking a little bit. Great. You don't have to add a lot of pressure. Just slightly start squeezing it and it starts coming out. Oozing out. Again, what we use, we use avocado, cucumber, um, aloe, and coconut. This is our mixture and our blend. Phenomenal for your hair, for your cuticles, um, the strengthening your locks or your natural hair as well. Um, later on, we'll explain each characteristic of the, the plant or the food that's going inside. All right, for right now, again, all I'm doing is just squeezing. Okay, slightly squeezing. If you squeeze too hard, you will burst um, that cloth, and that's not what we're looking for. That's it, all I'm doing is just squeezing. Yes, it's time consuming, but it's not as bad as using the small fine line strainer. So once we're done with this, you can either have two options, put it in the fridge or freezer and let it sit to get a little harder. But because I'm gonna use this right now for a client, I'm going to put it in the fridge, let it refrigerate for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to add it to the client's hair. You'll see it late, later on. Once I add it to the client's hair, I'm gonna wash her hair with this. Uh, gentlemen, you can use it as well, use it on my hair. Wash your hair with this, and then I also add a peppermint to the hair, not so much to the scalp, but to the hair. Just to give it that fresh scent, fresh smell as well. Okay, good, starting to squeeze. In a second, I'll open it up so you can see what it looks like. People call it trash, in Jamaicans we call it trash. Uh, but the, the residue or the leftovers, you'll see what that looks like. Again, our whole goal is to be natural as possible. That is as natural as possible. Products are great. There's nothing better than herbs and plants from the earth. So how much would this um, last, or how long should will this last, or how much would this actually come out to be? We'll measure it later on. Um, but more than likely, you should get three to four servings of shampoo, and the container we'll use shortly, I'll show you. 
But as long as you put it in the fridge, again, it should last that between a week, maybe two weeks. After the two week mark, if you still have some left, you have an option of throwing it away or put it in the freezer and let it sit a little bit longer. That's the same thing we did with our rose water. And how do you make the rose water? All right, and I'll show you in a little bit. You take literal roses, real roses. You put it in distilled water, let it sit for two days or three days if you have the patience. If you don't have the patience, boil some hot water. And then once you boil the hot water, then let it sit for a few hours. And then you have rose water, okay? What I like to put in my rose water is vitamin E oil. Do I have, there it is right here. Vitamin E oil, all natural. This is the edible version as well. You can digest it. So the vitamin E oil is fantastic for the hair. All right, like I said, we'll go into depth detail. The products, the only products that I put in my clients hair, if they're okay with, is natural products. If I do decide to use something else, it would be um, either Jamaican black castor oil that has either coconut, tea tree, something else in it, but definitely Jamaican black castor oil, um, jojoba oil. I'll also use, um, I also use all natural honey. So when I retwist the hair itself, I'll have honey with a combination of, um, a, I mean, a little bit, a little bit of honey, but not a whole lot. Combination of honey and water, and that's it. And if I do want to add, I sometimes will add aloe and honey mixture. So today we're gonna add aloe and honey as a mixture for our retwist. Okay. All right, so we're getting close to it. Once you feel like you can't squeeze anymore, flip it upside down and then start squeezing. It'll come out in your hand, which is okay. The goal is not to let it burst. Wow, the cucumber, it just does something for me. It smells super good. We're doing good on time. We got it 6.30 and we're making great time. Good. All right, that's almost there, we're almost there. You wanna wring it out, again, without bursting. That's the most important part, do not burst the cloth or else you have to get another one. And you probably have to start all over again because now the trash or the residue is inside the mixture. Why am I squeezing it out? Because you saw those white flakes, those chunks? Those were coconut chunks. And when you put that in your hair, it's gonna sit in your hair. Now, when you look at the white flakes, those chunks, some people will think, oh, it's dangerous in your hair. No, it's not dangerous. You just have coconut flakes. So to resolve that, don't even put it in your hair itself. Okay. Same thing when you do aloe. Um, aloe is fantastic. That residue, it will sit in your hair um, if you don't mix it and strain it. All right. So it's, you can't really see it now. It's a clear substance, but when it when it's ready and it's dried, and then it'll come into a white consistency, almost like flake-like. And so that's why I always have my anybody who's watching me and following to strain out everything you do. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good as far as straining. Again, I don't want to rip my cloth, so let's open it and see what it looks like. All right, there we go. All right, so for all my herbalists and my planters, you can use this in your soil. This is gonna be fantastic for your soil. When you start planting and regrowing your food. All right, that's how it looks. I'm gonna save that for later. All right, and there you have it. You are officially have shampoo. Now, what I like to do um, in my shampoos is put a few things. So jojoba oil in my shampoo, actually, I'll wait. Typically, jojoba oil is fine, but like I said, our products are edible. This shampoo is edible right now, even without the jojoba oil, okay? Now, if you want to put extra things into it, like peppermint or jojoba oil, that's perfectly fine, but then it doesn't become edible anymore, all right? So I will add this later on on my client's hair itself. Same thing with the peppermint, all right? So as far as containers, there's different containers you can use. I like to reuse containers. It looks something like this. It's perfectly fine. And this is what I'm gonna use for my rose water. You can see rose petals, literally rose petals inside of it. I'm gonna add some more rose water as well to it. Okay, so what I'll do is rinse this out quickly and so I can start adding more. Like I 
that. This is a rinse, not a wash. <laughs> I don't want y'all judging me. Oh, he can't wash. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I got a dishwasher. I'm playing. Like, we're from the island. We know how to wash. Okay, so let's add this back. And we're also going to see how much it actually made. All right, let's see how many ounces this was. So, by the looks of it, this made, like I said, 16 ounces. Okay, this made 16 ounces. Great. You can stout and now start to put it into a bottle. Bottle of your choice. This is just easy applicator for when I'm getting ready to put it inside her hair. And boom, there it is. Done. What I like to use, the cap. So this is going to be, easy squeeze. This is going to be going inside her hair, her scalp, and also just cleansing her whole entire hair itself. Okay, this, believe it or not, is the shampoo. It doesn't get um, soapy and runny. It, that's not the whole purpose of it. Uh, we're actually looking to do a deep cleanse. Now, when we get ready to do a apple cider vinegar rinse or something that's not as harsh. But let's say you do want an apple cider vinegar rinse, baking soda you need, you also need apple cider, and then you'll need lemon, okay? Those are your three major ingredients. After that, make sure you put more oil back inside your hair because it's stripping everything, even the natural oils from your hair, from your scalp as well. So make sure you rejuvenate your hair by using rose water with um, vitamin E oil, Put the Jamaican black castor oil inside your scalp and then jojoba oil, um, same thing on your scalp or in your hair. What only goes onto your hair is rose water and vitamin E oil. Goes onto your scalp, Jamaican black castor oil, okay? All right, that was the tutorial so much for this. Um, now I just have to show you how to make the honey, okay? Now for the honey, nothing incredibly difficult, but that's the side. So people say, why honey? Like, what's the purpose of honey? I mean, honey's amazing, not just because it's made from animals, but the properties of honey are incredibly strong. It is incredibly strong and it holds your hair. All right. All right, let's see if I can open this. There we go. How do I know it's real honey? You can literally see the honeycomb, like literally. Nice. See? Okay, so now we had that boiling hot water. I'm gonna add it to my bowl. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this honey. Home itself. You can put the whole thing in or just cut it, but I'm gonna put the whole thing in and then just let it sit inside there. The water's not too, too hot. And this is actually a lot of water. I don't typically put this much water, but again, this is perfectly fine. Remember, we, the goal is not to have a thick beeswax in your hair. No. This in and of itself will be fine. I'm actually going to use a little bit. Um, I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but for those who do, don't do this. <laughs> put some gloves. Yeah, put some gloves on. If you don't like the way this feels. You, you don't always have to use the honey cone um, because it has like the chunks in it, and I'll show you how to get the chunks out. But the goal is just to have it, it be saturated. Um, I'm probably gonna use a little bit more honey, and then I'll show you another example of 
instead of using the honeycomb, another product you can use as well, something that's organic. Okay, let's see. Okay, so organic, green wise, unfiltered honey, retains natural pollen and enzymes. Okay, this I'll probably use as well from here. I just squeeze it in, not a whole lot, and then it should be good. I'm going to mix, and then once I'm finished mixing, I'm going to strain, and then that will be my consistency. It's gonna be, I need a little bit more. Great. And even though it's so liquidy, I mean, it's, it's such a liquid, it still will make um, the hair hold strong. So th this technically can be a spray on. Um, I know there's one gentleman who has it on Instagram where he literally has created a lock spray on, the world's first lock spray um, gel, or I guess a spray liquid. But it's impressive, and I was like, wow, that makes sense. This is essentially the same thing, but it's organic. Uh, same thing, edible, you can eat it as well. All right, that is it to the tutorial. You'll see there are hard chunks in it. Let me show you how to get the chunks out. Um, you wanna keep this consistency, that's what we're looking for, because it's not the chunks that what we need, it's the liquid that's infused. So this is no longer just water. This is honey infused water. Okay. That's it, that wasn't the hard. That's all you have to do. Okay, let me um, rinse this bowl out real quick. Again, rinse the bowl. We're not washing it right now, we're just rinsing it. My wife will be proud. Let's babe. <laughs> okay, good. good. So less than one hour, we will be doing Klein's hair. Let's show you what the honey's gonna look like. That's it. That is it. That is our retwisting gel slash um, liquid. I can't even call it a gel. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, stick into the fridge or the freezer. So we're gonna stick into the fridge for a little bit until we leave, taking this with us, and we'll be all set, all right? So stay tuned. We're definitely gonna do this Queen's Locks. I think you might like that too.